been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. And as I mentioned on my last video, I wanted to show you a couple things that I am up to and something I'm gonna be doing today. Um, first thing I wanna show you what we're kind of fighting with today. There's some storms that are getting ready to hit here. We're gonna try to get this all taken care of before those storms come. So let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. Obviously that piece of wood that I got laying there is not the wheel chalks that I normally run. Let's go ahead and get in my trunk here. Somewhere tucked in there. <laughs> what a little bit of a disaster going on right now. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I gotta get this organized. Normally these aren't in here and uh, I don't have this issue that I am currently having, which is dragging everything out with it. Extra hoses, all this extra piece of wood. And I'm going to, in the future, get rid of these stabilizer jacks. Okay, so I got what I wanted to show you. Let's go in the uh, garage and lay these out on the table first so you can see them. All right, so here you can see my homemade wheel chalks. Not my design, but I made a little bit of a variation on what I saw online. What you need is 5 8 all thread. That's the size diameter wise. And you need at least 36 inches of it. Uh, I would have liked to had a little bit more. It would have given me a little bit more room uh, on the top here to clamp down. And this is a treated four x four. Now, they just show that you should cut the four x four at an angle. However, I went ahead and I cupped it out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a uh, cupping action. Let's put it to the light to help match the contour of the tire. And then I took my grinder and I went ahead and put edges on it. So it gave it something to, you know, the tread of the tire to grab onto. So this is what they call a nylon nut. And it's because it has a piece of nylon that's inside there that once you start threading the nut on the bolt or the all thread in this case so far, the threads of the all thread start cutting into the nylon and gives it resistance so it holds position. You want the washers on there to make sure that you don't cut into the, the block of wood, but basically this lower block of wood, this is the bottom, it's fixed so that this piece doesn't move. This piece, however, goes up and down. It just slides. Now you gotta be careful whenever you're manipulating this in the tire because you don't wanna pinch your fingers. There's a chance that if you do that, that thing could come down. But the nice thing about it is there's a nut here to keep it from coming down and slamming your finger all together. That's the other reason that you should have that there. So basically what you can do is leave these bolts loose and slide this in your tire. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But if the bolt, again, I said I have 18 inches on each one of these so for a total of 36 inches. If they were a little bit longer, it'd be a little bit easier. Now, the thing is with this, all you need is a wrench. Just You just throw a wrench in your truck or you can throw it in the back of your camper and you can use it to snug this up. It doesn't have to be torqued down with great force because all you're doing is making the tires work against themselves based on the traction that's being applied to those grooves that I cut on either side. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like going on. All right, so here's our typical setup ready to be put in position and held in position. And all you do with these is just kind of maneuver them in. Again, if this was a little bit longer, I wouldn't have to worry about jockeyed in so much, although you can see it's relatively easy. And then you just tighten this down. But all you need to do at this point is just snug it up a little bit. Well, you can basically see all you had to do to get those things in place and locked down, and it works really well. I like the fact that it'll work for a variety of tandem axles as far as the distance that's between the two tires. You can cut that to whatever length you need, and it's not that expensive. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and click like or subscribe. Bye.